another one. And tomorrow, we'll try to get as many as possible in preparation of the coming weeks of the extended ACQ. So tomorrow, no, we start the food boxes. Um, paano po yung allocation po? No? One family. One family. One family. Tapos ito po, yung sa mga... One family. family. Alienes. Para sa ito, continue to acquire. Ulang pato. Satisfied kayo sa alienes ng kinalalagyan? Yes. Kasi madilim pa dati, tapos madilim. Pero ulang pato siya sa ulang pato. Malayo pa sa pato ang Okay, malinis ho ang inspection ni Mayor Tiniyak na malinis yung nilagyan ng bigas Si Engineer Andres ang in-charge dito. Si Ka Dennis naman ang in-charge ng paghahakot. Okay. Ibu, ibu, aku mesti pergi ke atas untuk beli steak pun, mak kasih. Oh, kenyalnya. 
Well, una, nagpapasalamat kami sa Pangulong Duterte, sa AFP, sa BCDA, for building 116 bed capacity in Nino Yakino Manila Stadium for our COVID-19 positive patients. It's another source or solution to the growing numbers of people being infected with COVID-19. It's a big help for Manila. It's a big help for Metro Manila. Second, we visited the storage site while we just finished the distribution of CACA or the City Amelioration Crisis Assistance Fund 2020 and we went beyond the target. Uh, as of the other day, the target is 568,000 families. Today, 571,000 families. And what you're seeing right now is we are trying to accumulate basic goods and particularly rice. So we entered into a contract with NFA about uh, two weeks ago and we are now store, doing some storage in our facilities, uh, hopefully hoping that we can in our own little way to extend additional food assistance to our people. As you can see, madaming madami na. Madami kanina, madami ngayon. Pero sa totoo, wala pa huya sa kalingkingan na kakailangan ni ng ating mga kababayan. And this is going to be delivered by next week in their respective barangays. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, may awa ang Diyos. Because we ordered 50,000 sacks of rice. That's 2.5 million kilos of rice. If we have 571,000 families at 3 kilos, that's more or less about 1.5 to 1.8 million. So, may buffer pa kami. But, uh, it's better uh, sobra kung so sobra para maakap namin ang datmari ang lahat. It may not be perfect, but in our own little way, with Vice Mayor here, uh, really uh, helping me a lot in the members of the City Council and our employees who are dedicated in really doing their part in the City of Manila. So we're expecting po na malalas na po ito for the people of yung mga pagbibigyan until the end ng quarantine. If, if not, we have an additional plan and we will implement it if necessary. Mm -hmm. For the meantime, this is now uh, something uh, na medyo ahead sa situation in terms of needs. But it may not suffice the entire basic needs very least, because it's pinaka-importante mm -hmm. ating mga kababayan. Yung nasa UDM, sir, ano-ano po yung mga yung foods, foods na nandoon? Yung food box natin, oh. na pinaccumulate natin, na in-order na natin last month, continues to arrive, and so except yung hindi pa magbibigyan, it's still a price. Mm -hmm. Yung nandoon, sir, ano po mga foods po yung nandoon? Food props, canned goods, and uh, and rice. Mm. And this is uh, in half of that UDM storage area is NFA rice. Mm. And another one, and tomorrow we'll try to get as many as possible in preparation of the coming weeks of the extended ECQ. Aso tomorrow na po yung start ng pagdi-distribute po natin. Food boxes. Yung food boxes. Oh. Yung mga remaining. Mm. So yung food box, um, paano po yung allocation po noon? One family. Ah, one family each. One family. Tapos ito po, yung sa mga... One family. It's, pa it's always family. No question. It's always family. Whether uh, taga Maynila, hindi taga Maynila, basta nandito sila sa Maynila. Per family. Botante, hindi botante. It's always clear. The, the, the directives of the city government is always clear. We will try to feed everybody per family in our own little way. It, hindi man sapat. At least meron na lang silang mapagharimunan. 
Jeremy, how are you going to monitor the COVID situation in the city? Today we have five. As of today, we have 277 COVID-19 positive. Mm -hmm. And we have already 471 DUIs. Mm -hmm. Tawa naman ng Diyos, 24 na gumaling. Walo sa private hospital. Isa sa San Lazaro at yung natira lahat sa bagong tatag na Santa Ana Hospital Manila Infectious Disease Control Center. Awan ng Diyos. And we're gonna visit soon also the newly developed uh, Delpan Evacuation Center to be converted as PUI Center in case needed. So we're trying to beat the exponential growth of COVID-19 or PUIs, hopefully, that we can address it. So, it's hard, not that easy, but rest assured, para magkaroon ng kapanatagan ng ating mga kababayan sa lungsod, ay aming sama-samang lalabanan na itong krisis nila. Thank you sa inyo. Thank you sa inyo. Ang bilis ninyo ah. Wala naman kayong idea kung saan kami pupunta. Ang bilis ninyo. Ang bilis ninyo. Ang bilis ninyo. Monday. Monday. Busy lang ako sir sa back. Thank you.